Hey guys, we just got back from Worlds, and we're in Julio's man cave. Um, Should I show his man cave? No. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Um, I want to make a deck profile of the deck I like played out Worlds. Um, I didn't play I didn't play side events game. I mean day one because I was spending the whole day finishing my deck, and I played Prophecy day two. And sadly, I only played one side event because the winner mat took way longer than expected. I ended up losing in the finals to a dragon player. I mean, I was like whatever. I think Julio's coming back, so it's gonna be awkward. Anyway, um, but yeah, I played Prophecy, so just see how it, how it is. Is that the first time you go off? Second time. Kind of making a deck profile. Um, triple Magician. <laughs> uh, triple Magician. Triple Magician. I ran Triple Kaiku. Because I was afraid of the mirror match. Hey. And uh, the Dragon matchup is actually pretty hard too. Don't kill me from the... Um, the Dragon matchup is pretty hard too. So I just wanted an advantage when it's possible. And I played four Dragons in the winner mat. Um, one Defender to protect Jalga. There's like Defender. He's good. He's another monster. 1600. One priestess. I like priestess. Like I just like it. It does it does its job. You know, it gets rid of the DNA surgery that people side in. Um, also, like save me from a thunder king a couple times. Um, one Jalian and one Valor. The Valor it was like whatever. It did it. It did what it had to do every now and then. But I mainly sided it out most of the time. Obviously, the best card in the deck, triple judgment. Like oh, again, I'm making this video now because like I like the deck a lot. But it's sad that it's probably gonna get nerfed by the ban list in a week. So yeah, triple judgment. You know what that does already. Triple Secrets, Double Fate, Double Tower, only two Star Hall. I don't want to play Triple Star Hall just because I feel like it claws the field and it claws my back row and I really want to set like my, my Wisdom and my Fate. I notice that a lot of times I do want to set Wisdom to protect Jalgen, especially against Dragons and other decks. Uh, I played Double Power. I'd probably cut this down to one. Like I, that, was, that was me being weird. I just wanted to play two Power because I like Power, but like I, I sided out one of them way too many, way too often. Uh, I'll play two Masters. I only like two Masters. I think you only need two. Two library or crescent, whatever. This card fucking stupid. I hate this card. It's only good like first turn. Even then, it's mediocre first turn. Double wisdom, life, eternity, and I mained one space because I main space in every deck. I don't care what. I just mean it. it's good. It's a good card. Swords of being like, oh my god, I love this card so much. I have to thank Jose Suarez for giving me this idea. Like this card is so good in the dragon matchup, especially when you when you go judgment, swords, secrets, magician, etc. End phase you have Jalgen. They can't attack over the Jalgen. It's just chilling there. It's such a good card. I beat Gabe for cards with it too. So. Wow, minus. <laughs> uh, Book of Moon uh, for traps. It was double compulse, judgment, one Phoenix Queen Blast. I played one Phoenix Queen Blast because I could only get one. I didn't find a second one. And last I played Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. It's a good card. If you don't know what it does, you discard a spell card. It's counter trap. You negate the activation of a spell card. Your opponent activates, and then they can't activate it for the rest of the duel. It's really good in a mirror match. It stops your super rejuvenation. You know, not bad. Extra deck: Crimson Blader, Tempest Magician. Thank you, Julio. <laughs> Hyper Librarian, Catastor, Gachi Gachi, Maestro, Gemini Pearl, Shining Elf, Crazy Box. Just for the Eradicator target. Um, Dweller, Utopia. Um, I'm missing a Digusto Phoenix. I, I couldn't find it for the event, and I forgot that I didn't have it. So that's what lost me the win amount, actually, because there was a point where I needed to detach a material to get to use life to get Jalen back. So I ended up instead, I ended up just going on Gachi. Where is he? Where's Gachi? I ended up making Gachi instead, trying to sit on it, and it lost me the game because he big eyed my Gachi, and when I tried to clear the board with Jalgen, Gachi was still there. So that lost me the game. Um, wait, side deck. It was the spaces, two draw unlock. Uh, another Jalgen, Triple Maxi, and uh, Prophecy Destroyer. Um, the reason I put the Prophecy Destroyer is just so I can get the easy Eradicator off. Um, Eradicator is really easy to get off in Spellbooks, actually, for the Mirror Match. All you really need is a Prophecy Destroyer or a Kaiku and a Power. It does it, it does its job in the Mirror Match. Um, two Mind Drain. I, this card's okay. Like I opened up this against Dragons, and I pretty much won. There was a time where I opened up this, and he opened up Heavy Storm, so I was like, oh, okay, that's that's nice. Heavy's a nice card to open up. Um, one retort, because I, I need a 15 card side deck and I can fit another card and know what to put, so I put in a retort and I play mirror match. And lastly, a deck Devi. Um, I got this idea from watching the world players at world, the dragon duels at Worlds. I saw a lot of people using deck Devi against dragons and I was like, huh, what do I do in Spobos? So all I really need is a Kaiku and a Star Hot with two counters, just activate it. I used it against dragons and it pretty much won me game because I opened up so busted and then at end phase I had Kaiku and this on board with the with the Jalgen in attack position, and like draw phase activated, and I got rid of a Veiler that he drew and all his babies, so he had like just random ass shit on the, in his hand. And then, yeah, I got to see his hand for the next three turns, and pretty much won me game. Victorian. Um, so yeah, don't film me. So that was the deck profile of the spell books. It's a really, oh man, I messed up. It's a really good deck. It's just sad that it's gonna get nerfed by the fan list. So yeah.
I'm pretty sure that balance is like, even even if that balance isn't true, like it's still gonna get hit no matter what. But it's just sad that if they ban judgment, this deck just goes back to the way it was before Tack Young came out, and I, it, it it was just okay then. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, thank you for Gabe for letting me borrow his mat to film this and. And my phone too. Oh yeah, and your phone, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, see you YouTube.